सर गुड मॉर्निंग मैम मे आई थैंक यू Yes, ma'am. Uh, my name is Madhulika Khatri. I am currently residing in Bhopal. Uh, I have a family of four members. My father is a government servant, and my mother she is a homemaker. My younger brother is studying in college right now. I have done my law from IIS Law College, Pune. Uh, I uh, got placed in my fourth year. Uh, so after graduating, I worked for a period of one year with Wipro Limited as legal counsel in Bangalore. Thereafter, I quit my job to prepare, and uh, my hobbies are yoga and diary writing. Madhulika, why do you want to become a judge? Yes, ma'am. Uh, so I belong to a family of bureaucrats. So there has always been an inclination towards uh, public service, ma'am. So a career in uh, judicial service uh, would be an opportunity to directly give back to the society. It's a kind of social service, ma'am. So uh, it will provide me immense job satisfaction. as this job involves uh, conflict resolution balancing rights of the party so it will be very fulfilling apart from that i'll get to stay closer to the home and also it will give me diversity uh, during uh, the course of my career to deals with different laws uh, as uh, in my corporate profile i was limited to contracts and i'll get to uh, experience and uh, learn more uh, while working in other field of laws as well Tell me two qualities which you possess over other candidates that we should select you today. Ah uh, yes, ma'am. Ah, uh, I have been consistently a good performer, academics and in work wise also, and I have been diligent in my uh, preparation stage as well. And I am adaptive, ma'am. Other candidates might feel it difficult to adjust in small areas, ah, uh, transfer posting, but I have been through that in my childhood, and I'll adapt very easily. Great. If not selected today, what will be your next step? Uh, ma'am, uh, I have applied for law clerk. I'll uh, I have been selected. I'll try to uh, join that, uh, hone my skill, learn better from the judges, and probably appear again. Okay. What is the meaning of your name? Madhulika. It means honey, ma'am. Okay, Madhulika. You have uh, mentioned that you have done a diploma in medical jurisprudence. Yes. What was it regarding? Ah, uh, sir, so we studied about uh, poisons. Asphyxia, which is about suffocation, death, medical negligence, and stuff like that. All right. What are the evidentiary value of such evidences? Ah, uh, sir, these comes under the stream of expert evidence. Expert evidence have been dealt in contract act from uh, 45 to 50 of the Indian Evidence Act, and uh, these have corroborative values and. Uh, these are not uh, binding on the court and court may exercise its own discretion however dna test it has very high evidentiary value yes all right uh, madhulika you may be knowing uh, that uh, a statement given to a police officer during investigation the person giving these statements need not to sign that yes. is there an exception to this Yes. Do you know the provision in CRPC that there is a provision which says uh, uh, statements given to the police during investigation need not to be signed by the person? Yes. You are aware of that provision? Yes. Sir. So, uh, section one sixty two of the CRP deals with this particular provision. It has provided that uh, the evidentiary value of statements recorded during the course of investigation would be would not be used for any purpose except the purposes which have been explicitly provided in the section itself. One of the exception to it that has been given in the section is about dying declaration. So, uh, if that is recorded during the course of uh, 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 investigation then that would be signed and it is a, one of the uh, important requirement of it so we can treat it as a kind of ex uh, exception to this all right okay you have done your uh, graduation from ils yes. law college pune yes okay uh, what do you like about pune The uh, weather is uh, really nice uh, it's not extremely hot not extremely cold very pleasant उट दिंग फंड 
this is your first interview yes ma'am what was the reason as per your concern that you were not selected for the interview round earlier uh, actually ma'am uh, i got uh, admitted in the last uh, stage of candidates which came uh, one month before so i was not expecting it at that time and even my preparation for prelims i had not completely uh, prepared all the subjects and for the sake of better experience for the purpose of this particular attempt so that i'll be more aware uh, that's why i appeared for it fortunately i got to sit for the mains so that was a good experience but i was not as such prepared at that stage you have written that diary uh, writing is one of your hobbies yes ma'am how it is helpful in your selection to be a judge Yes, ma'am. Um, I was made aware that as judges also, they have to maintain various diary of the proceedings in the court. So that can be one of the factors. Apart from that, uh, uh, this is a job where we cannot interact with much of the public. So a diary acts as a good confidant where we share our emotions. And even if we have no one in the posting, we are living alone. We have uh, someone to share our uh, innermost thought, which we might not feel comfortable sharing it with new people there. what do you understand by dying declaration yes ma'am dying declaration has been named in section 32 clause 1 of the indian evidence act uh, it provides that causes of the death or circumstances which are resulting into death of a person that has been uh, uh, that has been told by him uh, and the injuries which has resulted in his death that has been told by a person uh that would constitute as dying declaration it is relevant under section 32 1 uh it has very high evidentially value and it can be sole basis of conviction can you tell me the maximum or principle on which it is based so uh, ma'am it is would be based on principle of uh, necessity because uh, abroad we have this condition that a person must be in expectation of death that particular criteria is not there in india so even if there is no expectation of that but as a necessity since that person has died and we cannot produce him in court so that's why we have this except, exception uh, as it is an exception to hearsay rule can you tell me the difference between proof and evidence ah uh, yes ma'am uh, proof is a process ma'am where we may uh, it is a process through which we will uh, admit a particular uh, evidence in law and evidence has been defined in section 3 it may be oral it may be documentary and when it is proof then it will be taken admitted before the court to be taken into consideration in deciding the case what do you understand by fact and issue a uh, fact and issue fact and issue has also been dealt in section 3 of the indian evidence act these are those uh, rights liabilities uh, which are in conflict uh, between the parties and which a uh, court has to resolve in order to come at a particular judgment all right all right uh, suppose there is a victim of sexual harassment she goes to a police station to lodge an fir but the officer sitting there denies to lodge an fir for the same uh, can any action be taken against such an officer Yes, sir. So there are certain provisions which were laid down in the famous case of Lalita Kumari versus State of UP. It is said that the uh, action may be taken against such a police officer under Section 166A of the IPC. All right, for not lodging such an action. Yes, related so, to sexual. Related to sexual action. Whenever a a person goes to a police officer reporting any matter, is it mandatory for the officer to lodge an FIR? Yes, sir. so this was also dealt with the same case. It was said that providing it is uh, pertaining to an information related to cognizable cases, such uh, is mandatory upon that police officer. He cannot undertake any inquiry, though there are certain exceptions which were laid down in the Lalita Kumari case as well. It is with regard to medical negligence cases, delay, inordinate delay, matrimonial cases, and corruption cases. where he may conduct certain amount of preliminary investigation before lodging it otherwise he has no such discretion all right you have also worked as a legal counsel with wipro limited yes sir and you are getting a handsome salary there yes so don't you think you are uh, competent for other sectors as well so here uh, the opportunity should be given to those who doesn't have anything in your hand in their hands uh, so uh, this is a meritorious job Uh, which is a form of public service, and 
the we already have a such a competitive process so i think the thinking of the high, high court is to select best to best candidate candidate to serve the people of our country to provide them best possible uh, justice to them so uh, meritocracy should be a criteria uh, for the pu- purpose of this and i think uh, i would do justice to it okay as you said you are uh, dealing with contracts in your job yes sir you're dealing with contracts all right so in case a contract is breached what are the remedies available to the aggrieved person yes sir uh, he may go for damages and uh, he may go for specific performance and uh, yes sir and in case it is a negative agreement he may go for injunction as well injunction as well what are the remedies out of these are available under indian contract act damages have been discussed under the indian contract act and we have specific relief act for the purpose of injunction and specific performance all right suppose two party enter into a contract where uh, in the agreement itself they have ma- mentioned that in case of breach the person making uh, the party making the breach will be paying the compensation of rupees 1 lakh to the other party and the value of the transaction for which they were entering into uh, the contract was 20000 let's, let's say the subject matter of that contract was Uh, it had a value of twenty thousand, and they have mentioned one lakh rupees as compensation in case of breach. That was the liquidated damage they, that they provided. In case of breach, how much damage uh, will be provided to the party, aggrieved party? Yes. So the provision with regard to liquidated damages has been dealt in section seventy four of the Indian Contract Act. Uh, usually, it is. an estimate of reasonable cost which might be incurred in this particular case considering the subject matter is of rupees 20000 this seems more in the line of penalty rather than liquidated damages still in case of certain uh, threshold has been agreed between the party it is not binding on the court and it should be in commensurate with the losses which has been incurred because of the breach and uh, those section says that loss is not mandatory but through judgments of honorable supreme court uh, loss is one of the fa- uh, criteria which should be seen in such cases and same should be done in this particular factual matrix as well and uh, what if uh, they have mentioned uh, uh, the compensation as 5000 rupees in case of breach can the court award 10000 compensation in such a situation if it finds it reasonable if the loss is such which has caused uh, a damage of almost 10000 rupees approximately but the parties have mentioned in their agreement in case of breach a compensation of 5000 so is the court authorized to Uh, provide ten thousand as compensation where the parties have mentioned it to be five thousand. A uh, court is not uh, bound by the agreements which have been entered by the party. Section seventy three commands this particular point of law, where we have to see the remoteness of damages, and apart from that, these should be not uh, indirect, and uh, uh, should be in uh, uh, in. Co- is there anything anything regarding this in section seventy four which talks about uh, liquidated damages? Uh, sorry, uh, I hope you got the question that I'm asking. So there are two parties. They have entered into a contract. The subject matter is regarding twenty thousand rupees approximately. And in the agreement itself, they they have stipulated that in case of breach, the person, the party making the breach, will be paying a compensation of five thousand rupees to the other. Yes. one party makes the breach and the court finds that there should be 10000 rupees as the reasonable compensation which should be which should be provided but the parties have mentioned in the uh, in the agreement 5000 rupees a limit of 5000 okay, okay so can the court provide more than 5000 sorry sir earlier i think i did not understand fully comprehend the question thank you for repeating it uh, as per the wordings of the section the amount which has been agreed between the party is the higher limit and court uh, since contract that uh, permits party to frame uh, rules and agree into negotiation which are suitable from them so if they have negotiated into 5000 court uh, should adhere to the wishes of the parties and the upper limit for the court would be 5000 though it can award lesser than that all right all right fine so uh, you have completed your graduation in 2019 itself yes 
और अभी तक आपने रजिस्ट्रेशन नहीं कराया है बारे में Yes, I have applied for it and I have to appear for the examination. During COVID, I lived with my elderly grandmother. So I wanted to avoid the risk of going out. So I did not. And I was actively preparing also. So it was wishful thinking that if I get through, then uh, I would save the uh, registration course. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you. लॉन्ग बैक सो नाइंटी Um, right now, I'm not able to recall uh, that person's name. Though, though I did uh, read it in newspaper, I'll uh, check upon it. And what is the difference between yoga and meditation? Ma'am, uh, 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 there are Ashtanga Yoga, which are eight limbs of yoga. Uh, this was given by Patanjali, who is a Maharishi. Uh, so one of the forms, one of the limbs of it is uh, meditation, ma'am. So it is a component within yoga. Uh, have you read any recent judgment? Ah uh, yes, sir. Which one? Ah, uh, sir, I have read about few cases. Ah, uh, recent cases about ah uh, women, where uh, Supreme Court has been active in giving gender justices, like a uh, two finger test, which has been given. Then apart from that, uh, we have uh, cases uh, of uh, allowing uh, uh, unmarried women to have abortion between the 20 to 24 weeks, which was not allowed earlier. So uh, Supreme Court gave wider interpretation of the terms which were there in medical termination of pregnancy rules to provide uh, justice to the uh, women. Apart from that, uh, there are other cases uh, with regard to bail matters. Uh, we have got of Nablakha case versus NIA. Have you so read about thing. the case regarding demonetization? Uh, yes, sir. I did read about it. Can you summarize it? it? Yes, sir. Uh, five judges, uh, five uh, judges bench had given a judgment upon it. Three was majority, and two was partial dissent upon few of the points. Uh, the contention was uh, with regard to the words used there, all or any. So uh, majority said that when any has been used in the rules of RBI, so that can be interpreted as all. Whereas the uh, uh, maj- uh, minority disagreed on it. Uh, minority was of the opinion that uh, demonetize uh, demonetization should have come by way of a legislature. However, a majority said that uh, it the way it was done by uh, the government that was appropriate in the present case. All right, all right. Now the way interview is over. Ah, thank you so much. a uh, few of the factual questions i would i should have defined better okay okay and, uh, i think uh, this is the first time that you are appearing for the interview the yes, yes. services examination yes sir all right have you appeared for uh, any mock interview before that yes sir i appeared in december in december ha uh, so mother took it in december so okay. i went is there did you find any difference between the two matlab abhi pehle mein kya tha abhi jo tumhara performance hai उसमें कुछ डिफरेंस समझ में आया पहली बार में जैसा परफॉर्मेंस था और अभी जैसा है सो so, उससे बेटर है तब मेरे सारे लॉस का रिवीजन भी नहीं हुआ था एंड देन अभी थोड़ा मैंने रिवाइज कर किया अभी यू हैव रिवाइज द थिंग्स ऑलराइट ऑलराइट अ मधुरिक आई फाउंड इट गुड लॉ का नॉलेज जो है वो अच्छा है तुम्हारा अबाउट द पर्सनल क्वेश्चंस एच आर बेस्ड क्वेश्चंस यू आर फाइन द वे यू आर कम्युनिकेटिंग इज गुड है ना द वॉल्यूम द पिच एंड एवरीथिंग इज फाइन तुम्हारे जो ओपिनियन है जो तुम एक्सप्रेस करना चाह रहे हो इट इज प्रॉपरली कम्युनिकेटेड कन्वे भी हो रहा है वो है ना बॉडी लैंग्वेज इज आल्सो गुड सो ओवरऑल मुझे लगता है काफी अच्छा है तुम्हारे लॉ के क्वेश्चंस पे भी अच्छा है द ओनली थिंग वाज इन वन ऑफ द क्वेश्चंस यू कुड अंडरस्टैंड अगर ऐसा कभी तुम्हें लगे यू कैन आस्क द ऑनरेबल बोर्ड कि आई एम एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड तो देन रिपीट इट बट ऐसा ना हो कि कई बार उस 
अंडरस्टैंडिंग ना होने की वजह से कहीं हम क्वेश्चन मिस करते हैं जी सर आपने कैच करके यू रिपीट इट आई कुड सेंस दैट कि तुम समझ नहीं पाई वो शायद इसीलिए तुम उसको 73 पे ले जा रहे हो जी 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 दैट्स व्हाई आई डिड दैट दे आर आल्सो गुड जो वहां पैनल में ऑनरेबल मेंबर्स होते हैं दे आर आल्सो फाइन वो समझ जाएंगे तो दे मे करेक्ट यू ऑन सच थिंग्स बट कोशिश करना कि अपनी तरफ से थोड़ा सा जी जी बेटर हो बाकी कंफर्टेबल हो तुम वाइल इंटरव्यू थोड़ा मुझे ऐसा लग रहा था यू नीड वाटर और एनीथिंग लाइक दैट नहीं सर वाटर पिया था आई जस्ट इट्स वेरी क्लोज टू द मेन वन तो थोड़ा नर्वसनेस हां ऑल राइट ऑल राइट आई कैन अंडरस्टैंड देखो वो तो होगा वो इनेविटेबल है ना वहां जाके थोड़ा सा नर्वसनेस नर्वसनेस तो होती है बट इट्स ऑल राइट मतलब बहुत उसमें वो नहीं है वो होगा बट उससे बहुत इंपैक्ट नहीं होता वो तुम्हारी बॉडी लैंग्वेज में तुम्हारी कम्युनिकेशन में व्हिच इज विजिबल इन यस व्हिच इज गुड सो ओवरऑल इट इज फाइन रिसेंट केसेस भी थोड़े से और रिवाइज कर लेना लैंडमार्क जजमेंट्स थोड़े पढ़ लेना अबाउट टॉपिक्स डिफरेंट जो जो इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स हैं उनके थोड़े लैंडमार्क जजमेंट्स जैसे आप एग्जांपल दे दीजिए का जैसे डाइन डिक्लेरेशन अच्छा जी 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 या मैंने जैसे एफआईआर था ललिता कुमारी यू नो इसी तरीके के जो भी टॉपिक्स हैं प्रोसीजरल लॉस के स्पेशली लेटेस्ट वाले सर थोड़े लैंडमार्क लैंडमार्क लेटेस्ट तो पढ़ने हैं लेटेस्ट तो कुछ भी वो जरूरी नहीं किसी पर्टिकुलर टॉपिक से कनेक्टेड हो लेटेस्ट तो पढ़ के ही जाओ एटलीस्ट फॉर लास्ट सिक्स मंथ्स के जो इम्पोर्टेंट जजमेंट्स हैं बट जो लैंडमार्क केसेस हैं पर्टिकुलर टॉपिक के तो वो जैसे टाइम डिक्लेरेशन में अगर मैं बोल देती तो जी सर मैं समझ गई दे हैव बीन आस्किंग दिस क्वेश्चन अभी जो चल रहा है इंटरव्यू उसमें स्टूडेंट्स से पूछ रहे हैं सर वो फैक्ट्स भी पूछ रहे हैं या रिश फैक्ट्स फैक्ट्स तो ज्यादा नहीं बट हां उसकी रीजनिंग पे ज्यादा फोकस है और जो लैंडमार्क जजमेंट है उसमें रीजनिंग ही ज्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट है ज्यादा दिन दी फैक्ट हां रीसेंट में जरूर दी मैं रिसेंट के तो आप जी सर लैंडमार्क के भी मैं कोशिश कर रहा हूं बस कोशिश करना थोड़ा बहुत जो एकदम वैसे है वैसे तो देखो तुमने थ्रू आउट योर प्रिपरेशन वो पढ़ाई है एक बार बस रिकॉल एंड ब्रश अप कर लो जी सर वो भी बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स ऐसा नहीं कि बहुत ज्यादा डिटेल में जाना है रेस्ट इज फाइन बेस्ट एवरीथिंग इज फाइन जी सर आई आल्सो हैव सिमिलर रिव्यूज मॉडल का ओवरऑल आई फाउंड द परफॉर्मेंस गुड कॉन्फिडेंस लेवल नॉलेज वाइज सब कुछ अच्छा है बीच में मुझे लगा बोलते बोलते थोड़ा सा एग्जॉस्ट हो गए थे वो जिस तरीके से टैकल करते हैं ना हमें तब वैसे ही वो भी इसके लिए भी करते हैं जुडिशरी बोर्ड में भी सो यू हैव ऑलरेडी दैट हैव दैट एक्सपीरियंस एंड बीइंग सिलेक्टेड आई थिंक विल गिव एन एज टू यू फॉर दैट सो माय ओवरऑल रिव्यू इज दिस एंड ऑल द बेस्ट वन मोर थिंग व्हाट यू आर गोइंग टू वेयर मैम सॉरी सॉरी ओके थैंक यू सो मच एंड वी आर अ ब्लेजर एज़ वेल हां ब्लेजर आल्सो सो वन थिंग दैट आई नोटिस व्हेन यू केम यू आस्क्ड फॉर सेटिंग डोंट डू दैट अवॉइड दैट जस्ट लेट देम ठीक है, हाँ,